Now this question says copy and complete the following table for multiplication table modulo 11. So what we'll do here is we'll multiply the first row with the first column to give us the values of this table or the missing values of this table. So here you will notice also that it says modulo 11. Okay. So what it means is, if for example, we multiply 5 times 5 gives us 25, we can't try 25 down, okay, because we are working in modulo 11, and I'll explain that as we proceed. So if we are to solve this, we start with, for example, 1 times 1 gives us 1, 1 times 5 gives us 5, 1 times 9 gives us 9, 1 times 10 gives us 10. That's cool, because none of the numbers are up to 11 or exceeds 11, so we can just write this down uh, easily. Now for the next one, we have 5 times 1, 5, okay, you can write that down. So we have 5 times 5, 25, we can't just write 25 down because it's more than 11, which we are working with. So here we have the multiplication rule as this, as this. So we'll just write 5, so let's take this as 8a, okay, so you just write 5 times, okay, the rule, so 5 times 5, will give us 25. So we can't just write 25 inside this box and say, whoa, one size 25. <laughs> that would be extremely wrong. Okay, so what we'll do here is, because 25 is more than 11, what we'll do is, we'll just say, the modulo which is 11. So you multiply, find a number that you can multiply with this modulo, okay, to give us 25. Now there's no number that can give us that, okay? So what we'll do is we'll find a number that, is, that will multiply with 11 that will give us something very close to 25, and that's going to be 2, okay? Because 11 times 2 will give us 22, 11 times 3 will give us 33. So we'll choose 11 times 2, which is 20, which is less than 25. So 11 times 2, which is 22. So you now say 25 minus 22 will give us a remainder of 3. So you could just write remainder 3. Okay? So this remainder is what we'll write back inside this box. So you just write 3. And that's the answer. Very simple. Let's try another one so you can master it. So the next one will be 5 times 9, which is 45. So we have 5. And the multiplication rule, then 9, we have 45. We can't write 45 and say, whoop, this is our answer. So we can't just write 45 here. So what we'll do is, because 45 is more than 11, so what we'll do here is we'll just say the modulo, which is 11, times, so you find the number that you multiply with this modulo to give us 45. There's no number like that, okay? So what we'll do is we'll look for a number that can give us something very close to 45, then write down the remainder. So 11 times 4 will give us 44. Okay, so 45 minus 44 will give us a remainder of 1. So we could just write 1 here as our answer. So 1. So for the next one here, we'll say 5 times 10 will give us 50. So you have 5, then the multiplication rule times 10 gives us 50. Here we'll have, here we'll have 50. So here we'll write the modulo, which is 11, okay, times any number that can give us 50. No, there's no number that will multiply 11 that can give us 50. So we'll look for something very close to 50, which is 4. 11 times 4 will give us 44 remainder. So 50 minus 44, that will be 6. So for the next one here, let's, let's write our 6 out here. So write 6. So for the next one, you have 9 times 5. So you have 9 times 5. That's multiplication rule which is 45. You know we've solved something like this here, 45. So we could just write it out here. We could just write it out there by saying 11 times 4. That's 11 times 4. Remainder 1. So we'll just write 1 here. So we'll have 1. So for the next one, it says 9 times 9. So you have 9, then multiplication rule times 9. And that is 81. So here we'll write the modulo, which is 11, times, now what do we multiply with 11 to give us 81? Nothing. So the closest will be 7. So 11 times 7 is 77. So 81 minus 77 give us a remainder of 4. So we'll write 4 down here. So we could just come here and replace this empty box with 4. The next one here says 9 times 10. So we could just write 9, then the multiplication rule 10. So this will give us 19, okay? So since we have 90 here, this is more than 11, so we could just write 11. We have 11 times, so what can we multiply 11 to give us 90? Nothing. So we have 
the closest as 8. So 11 times 8 will give us 88. 90 minus 88 give us a remainder of 2. So we could just write 2 here. So for the next one, we have 10 times 5, which is 50. Okay. So we have 50, 10, the multiplication rule, 5, 50. So this will be 50. So we've done something like this before here. So we could just write it out again. So we have 11 times 4, remainder 6. So we could just write the 6 here. Write our 6 here. Okay. Now the next one also says 10 times 9. So write our 10 times 9. So you have 10, then the multiplication rule times 9. So you have 90. We've also done something like this before. So you have 11. So we'll just write 11 times 8, remainder 2. So we could just write our remainder here as 2. The last one is 10 times 10, which is 100. So you have 10 times 10. It gives us 100. So here we can't write 100, obviously. So what we'll do here is we just say 11 times 9 remainder 1. Okay, this is 99. So 100 minus 99 gives us a remainder of 1. So we could just write 1 here. And this solves the problem because we've completed our table. So when you are writing the YK exams, advisable you bring out this table and write the title. You can just write table for multiplication table modulo 11. So moving to the next question, which is quite simple. So we have, um, to, we have to evaluate this. Okay, so you have 9. The multiplication rule 5, the multiplication rule then 10, the multiplication rule 10. Okay, so solving this now, you know, this is 9 multiplication rule 5, so we'll do it the way we've been doing all this. So get the remainder, so the remainder will be everything here. So you have 9 multiplication rule 5. Okay, so when we work this out, we'll have 9 times 5 is 45. We can write 45 as the value of 9. Multiplication rule 5. So write down the modulo which is 11. So what can we multiply with 11 to give us a remainder? So what we can do is 11 times 4 is 44. Okay, 11 times 4 is 44. So the remainder here, the remainder here will be 1. So for the next one, we have 10 times 10. So we could also write, we could also write that out. So just say 10, the multiplication rule 10. So this will give us 100. We can write that out. So what can we multiply with the modulo? So write the modulo times 9. So 9 is the only number that can give us something close to 100. Okay. So for the remainder, I'll just write remainder 1 also. So here we have 9 modulo 5 and 10 modulo. So you have 9, then multiplication rule 5, and 10, the multiplication rule 10 as one and one respectively so we could just write we could just write this out again we could just write this okay so we have equal to so this would be this would be one okay then the multiplication rule then this will also be one so by the time you solve this one times one is one as a final answer since it's not up to 11 just keep it leave it like that let it be at peace okay now for the last one we are asked to find the truth set of this the truth set of this so let's write that out let's write that out we could just put it as um number two that is 10, then the multiplication rule and equals to 2. So this is find the truth set of this. So, so what this means is find the value of m for which this for which this is true. Okay, so let's do it together. We don't know the value presently, but let's do it together. Let's let's suggest different values. Then from there we'll find this value. You know that 2 here represents the remainder. Like we did 9 multiplication rule 5, and we got the answer as 1. Okay. That's the remainder as well. So this is also the remainder of this of this um of this operation. So let's do it together. So let's see when m equals to one, we'll have ten. Then the multiplication rule one. Okay. That so we have m as one now. So this will give us ten. 
So since it's not up to 11, you know we're working with 11, so you can just leave it like this. And you see, this does not give us 2. So we just write m, we just write m is not equal to 1. So we'll go again, when m equals to 2, we'll have 10 multiplication rule 2. So this gives us 20. This is more than 11. So what we'll do here, what we'll do here is 11 times one number will give us 20, no number. So we'll just try 1. 11 times 1 gives us 11. So we could just write the remainder as 9. So we could just write m is not equal to 2. So the next one says when m equals 3, okay, we have 10 multiplication rule 3, and this will be 30. So here we'll have 11 times 2 will give us 22. So 30 minus 22 will now give us a remainder of 8. So you see that with here yeah, we're having 8. We're looking for 2, not 8. So we'll just write m is not equal to 3. So we'll go to 4. When m equals 4, 10 multiplication rule 4. So this will give us 40. So this will be 11 times 3, remainder 7. So this will be um, m is not equal to 4. So when we have, we we'll say when m equals to 5, we have 10 multiplication rule 5. Here we'll have, this is 50. So this will be 11 times 4. Okay, that is 44. Remainder 6. Yeah, this will be 6. So m is not equal to 5. So when m equals to 6, so you have 10 multiplication rule 6, okay? This will be 60, okay? So you have 11 times 5, remainder 5. So this will give us m is not equal to 6. So when m equals to 7, all have 10 times 7, that's a multiplication rule, so you have 70, so you have here 11 times 6, remainder 4, okay, so this gives us m is not equal to 7, so when, let's try 8, probably we could get the savior here, so 10 times 8 gives us 18, so this will be 11 times 7, remainder 3, nope. I know you already know the answer. <laughs> okay, so this gives us um, 8. So here we'll have uh, when m equals 9, this will give us 10 multiplication rule 9, and this gives us this gives us 19. So we could just write 11 times 9, 11 times, no, not 9, 11 times 8, okay? Remember that 2. So m is equal to 9. So you see, it satisfies the rule, it gives us a remainder of 2. So that means 10 times whatsoever here is here gives us a remainder of 2. So this is the only value, 9 is the only value that gives us a remainder of 2. So the truth set is satisfied when m. So you could just say the truth set is satisfied, satisfied, satisfied when m equals to 9, when m equals to 9.